Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Indie Evolution channel. I'm in Gamer and we are back with part three of our Let's Play of Mars Warlogs. Um, in part two, we got our character his first level. Took a look at a bit of the character customization, the skills and feat system that define our character. And we also kind of uh, got a glimpse into what our main quest is, our, our first main objective, which is to escape from this POW camp that we're trapped in. We were also able to procure the items for the mechanic who stands right in front of us. And we're going to go ahead now and begin Let's Play Part 3 by completing our first quest. You find my parts? Yep, here. Everything you asked for. Oh, hey, great. They should have given me an assistant like you. Here's some serum. It's all I can give you without running into trouble. Still need parts? Not just now. I'm getting back to work now. All right, then. See you. One thing I have noticed about the dialogue in this game, it's... It's, it's not terrible. It's not even necessarily, necessarily bad. It's awkwardly written. And I don't know if that comes from this game maybe originally being written in another language and translated into English. Or if it's just a... It could be an intentionally awkward writing style that they use for the game. Um, just something I kind of have picked up on that some of the... Some of the verbiage is kind of kind of weird, uh, or sometimes they'll repeat the subject of a sentence into the next into the next sentence, and it's just kind of awkward. So, just something I'd like to point out. And we'll go here back into our skill system, and you'll see we have uh, six points. Uh, to spend here if we wanted to keep going on our renegade tree which I which I do I haven't really found much of a use uh, for stealth in the game as of yet uh, but I'm assuming since there's a whole tree dedicated to stealth skills that um, at some point this will become a worthwhile endeavor uh, we were able to use the art of blinding we were able to throw the sand um, in one of our previous fights, it just seemed to disorient um, our enemy and leave him open to attack. So uh, these skills are are useful. Uh, we can throw the sand over a larger area, or we can go up a level here, where the stealth is increased by 50%. I do want to say that outside of the tutorial area when we've had combat has been a little bit tougher than the initial tutorial combat so the I wasn't sure if that was just horrid AI or if the the fights were kind of quote unquote fudged in order just to fulfill the needs of the tutorial and it does look like there's a little complexity uh, we're just playing on standard level here and I think I will take tough skin a uh, little damage reduction never hurt anybody uh, not gonna worry about the science of evasion we'll go ahead and upgrade this so we can throw sand over a larger area actually you know what stealth increased stealth increased I think this is uh, maybe our best bet. So I just want to see if we upgrade this to level three. If it, if that, okay. And that's how you unlock your level two skills. Then K 
Okay. So that's how you unlock your level 2 skills is by increasing one of these to level 3. Um, that does change maybe what your leveling scheme would be when you actually played the game. You might want to go, you know, to take something to level 3 right off the bat in order to unlock uh, some of these more useful useful skills that are, are farther along in the tree. Um, but it doesn't seem to go across spheres here. Um, so right now I've unlocked tier 2 but only in this tree and I'm assuming if I were to take one of these to their full out extent that I would then unlock tier 3. Um, stealth is increased by 60% stealth mode and I know this is gonna seem a little backwards but let's actually that 20 per 25 maximum health seems pretty enticing Okay, actually we'll go we'll go with first aid here. I'm the most indecisive leveler that you I, I contemplate this for for way too long in games I, I know I do. Um actually let's go with the let's go with the attacks from the rear. Let's learn these. Oh, and in order to go to a higher level here, you also have to go to a higher level here. So there is a little bit of complexity, and we'll go ahead and take another stealth skill. So you can't, even though you can unlock, you know, level one in any other level one, you actually can't. Fully unlock the skills, everything in the tree is actually a prerequisite. Um, we do have three feet points here. And it looks like we only have two choices. One is Snooper, which is going to give us extra loot. Uh, and let's unlock craftable items. Let's see what we end up with there. I'm just going to click upgrade. Ah, we do have some, some upgrade options available to us at this point. Uh, we can increase the physical damage. Okay. Uh, looks like that increases the... essentially the block rating of the weapon. I'm a guy in RPGs. I always go for the for the guy who who does the critical strikes. So we're gonna go ahead and do the reinforced fabric. So there's a little bit of the the weapon customization and and a little more depth in the the leveling process for the game. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? I'm thinking, damn it. You mean you're sleeping? This ain't bridge with your grandma. We'll take a look at our map here. Go to our war log. Uh, we still do need to get to the recruitment office and looks like as a side quest we need to deal with some mean dogs and I'm not exactly sure where this huh? recruitment office is I don't see it listed in our locations uh, we are building up our diary here
Maybe we need to get out of this beginning area. The access looks blocked for the moment. Okay, so we can't go to the cistern. Apparently, it looks like when you, uh, when you defeat these guys, you don't always kill them. I don't know if I can kill them. Uh, which is interesting. Uh, interesting mechanic there. Kind of reminds me of the game Stalker. Um, in the game Stalker, you could and we progress now to another area to the crater zone. In the game Stalker, oftentimes you'd, you'd find that you had shot somebody, maybe hit them multiple times, but instead of them being dead, they were actually just, uh, you know, on the ground, too wounded to continue fighting, which was always a aspect of that game that I liked. I just felt like it added something. to the crater area here. Found herself a little scrap metal. I did see... Oh, interesting. This is like a... I guess a little map. Mini... Or... I guess map isn't the right word, but gives you directions to different locations. Um, this game, the, the layout, the, the way the game is done, is kind of putting me in the mind of Knights of the Old Republic. the way the maps are laid out, the way the game kind of plays out. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, not a bad thing at all. What did you do before the war? I... I... I it, nothing sp 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 special, sir, 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 sir. Great. Look, answer yes or no. It'll go faster. You good with your hands? Not, not, not real. I said yes or no. Can you write? N n no, S Sarge. All right, buddy. Look, I'll put you in the kitchen and you'll peel boots. That'll do just fine. Next. First name, last name, former job. Innocent Smith, apprentice electrician. Innocent? Shit, I'll never get used to these names. Sorry, buddy, but your innocence doesn't stand much of a chance around here, if it's not already gone. Apprentice electrician, you said? You start learning the job? Really? Yes, Sergeant. I'd probably be an electrician today, but the war... Fine, fine. We'll put you in the power plant. For once, we'll have somebody remotely qualified for it. All right, next. Poor kid. 
Those Aurora bastards take them young. First name, last name, for... Hey, you're not new. Roy Defiance or something like that. Temperance, actually. But don't sweat it. I never got used to it either. What do you want? Didn't we already give you something to do? Yeah, you did. I unload equipment crates. But I heard you need more people for the cleaning. Yeah, that's true. And you're good at fighting, right? They say you kicked the shit out of the fat guy. Can't say he didn't deserve it, though. You know, the last guys who went down there didn't come back in good shape, right? I know, but moving crates is boring me shitless. Some action would be a nice change. Very well. I'll reassign you. Go talk to the guards at the top of the drilling well. But don't come bitching to me if you're missing an arm when you come back up. Next. I do find it interesting that the guy we beat up at the beginning of the game is referred to as the fat guy. Um, not just a fat guy, he's, he's the fat guy. That's, and I, I guess he is. I mean, as you look around the game, there really isn't another fat guy. But <laughs> yes. Just something I found odd. Um, I, I made the comparison to Couture earlier. Anybody who remembers that game or remembers the old Mass Effect knows that you could alter relationships with your companions by engaging them in conversation. Um, so that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna do here. I have a few questions to ask you, if it's okay. What'd you do before you got drafted? Not much. My parents had a store and I was gonna take it over. I was sort of learning the tricks of the trade. But I wasn't really into it, to be honest. I preferred hanging out with my friends. And you? I was the guild's dowser, didn't you know? Really? Well, that must have been something. You can't possibly imagine. Actually, I did lots of little jobs here and there. Not always a lot of fun, but you gotta do what it takes. What battles did you fight in? Mostly skirmishes. Lots of trench warfare around the shadow lines. Not good memories. Pretty bad, actually. I hear that. War's pretty disgusting, but... It seems like it's the only thing going on in this rock. And you? Seeing how you fight, you must have been something at the front. I wasn't in it for the glory. I don't like being front and center in a slaughter, and I wasn't trying to draw attention. You know people in this camp? There's gotta be people I fought with, but I don't really see any familiar faces. Except maybe... Anyway, that would be really weird. What? Oh, go ahead, laugh at me. I'll just shut up. Up to you. Come on, let's go. Okay, so it does kind of give you a little bit of a feel for who this character is and, and who is back and who he was uh, prior to the events that are taking place now. I'm just looking at the character models. Uh, you know, I, I like them. They're not... They're a little awkward. His character model in particular. Uh, looks a little awkward to me, but... Overall, I'd, I'd say the character models are good. Uh, the animations are... Pretty good. I mean, there's there's not outside of the, you know, the the change direction, which seems to not really have an animation. If I've got this right, you're gonna play hero against the monsters. Try to get back in one piece. That's the plan. Don't worry about it. And I'm not the Lone Ranger type. Try to look around without getting caught, and we'll meet up again tonight. Wait, I was just wondering, what's your reason for doing all this? I mean. It's not like they're planning on keeping us here forever. My deep sense of patriotism? 
No, actually, I can't stand being locked up and doing the dirty work for the guys I was fighting not so long ago. I'd kind of like to disappear into thin air, you know? I understand. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, I'll see you this evening. Okay, so this game, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't waste a lot of time getting you into the swing of things. I mean, basically you save this kid's, well, uh, <laughs> not really saved his life, but uh, saved his innocence. We saved innocence's innocence um, in the opening scene. Instantly, boom, embroiled in our plan to escape this prison. We're sending him off to, uh, to the power plant. We're headed off into the... Uh, into the dangerous mining area really just so we can get our hands on some weaponry uh, that we can use in the escape. Halt! You one of the new cleaning recruits? Yeah, I've been to the recruitment office and they gave their approval. Hey, aren't you the guy who fought with the Fat Ones gang and nearly killed them? That son of a bitch was about to attack one of the kids that just got here. I couldn't just stand back and watch. Oh yeah, real hero, right? Well, you're gonna get some real good training down there. But watch it. The moles are pretty aggressive these days. Take a gun from the counter at the back and try to take out as many as possible. Then, try to get back in one piece. <laughs> It'll make a change. Hey, good luck. Okay, so that was our new friend, Jack. I came to get a gun. Here, the charges are fully loaded, so you shouldn't have any problem with the ammo. But if you come across the guys from the last squad, the ones who didn't come back up, I mean, take their guns and bring them back to me, you'll get a reward. All right, I'll have a look. Perfect. Hurry up. The others are waiting. Okay, and we're going to be heading into the drilling well. Uh, this game has a good pace. It has a good starting pace. Um, a lot of RPGs, they, they start out slow. And this one doesn't start out lightning fast by, by any stretch of the imagination, but... Let's start with a nice pace to the storytelling, the way they and the way they kind of move you from point to point. I think I may have missed uh, some early side quests, and maybe that's why you know it feels like we're moving so fast here. But always got to be hungry, don't I? Or I'd never go down there. Are you serious? If that's the only reason, you should have maybe stood back. I hope you know how to use that thing. Them bugs don't just dance. I know, that's what's freaking me out. You see those guys that came back up? No, and I prefer it that way. <laughs> At least I'm not shitting myself like you. Now, it'd be real nice if you could stop giving us all the creeps. All right, whatever. Just don't expect me to go first when we get there. Right. This way we can take care of the nests by ourselves and get the bounty. Bounty? They didn't tell you? There's a bounty if you destroy the nests. Guards will give you extra stuff. So far I haven't heard a lot of squads getting that far, but hey, you can always dream, right? Alright, so a little information about extra rewards. Um, back to what I was saying earlier. Oh, it looks like these two guys are actually, uh, actually going to join me as we delve down, down into the mine here. Like I was saying earlier, the game really does have a, a good pace. A lot of RPGs start very slow. Okay. Um, now it's asking me to open up my tactical menu. Okay. 
Sand throw is bound to two. We'll bind the nail gun to one. And health regeneration to three. Okay, and we can see at the bottom left hand corner of our screen how that plays out. That might not have been the best idea, maybe. And that makes sense that they don't have any items. I mean, they're just animals, but I figured I'd search them anyway. Kind of a little weird design choice that every time you make a... Every time the you make, like, a... Said if we came across the last squad, we should look for anything useful, so... Instead of having a jump key or an interact key, it kind of you go into a short cinematic change. And since we did a stealth based character, let's actually try to use our stealth here. Oh, wow. So, stealth is, is a pretty powerful. Uh, You can see how long it took me to take those guys out last time compared to when I'm able just to sneak up behind them. Uh, pretty much boom. Whoa. I should have stayed with the stealth there. Looks like this game does have like triggers. You know, no matter how it seems like it's one of those games where no matter how stealthy you are, uh, there are going to be certain points in the game. We're just as part of a cinematic or part of a, a short cutscene or an instance you're going to awaken enemies and they're going to know where you are. So I don't know that you can that you can purely stealth your way through the game. Uh, we did receive a level. And I will normally I'm a, a level up hog. I, I love to get right in there and start increasing my skills, but purpose of the let's play. We will, we will keep ourselves moving forward here, at least forward as best we can. Found some salvage there. found a grenade. I'm just going to get back into my stealth crouch here. Whoa! 
Oh wow, my two buddies have fallen. Okay, we can see a message there. He's he's immune to my. Oh, nice. So this creature here was immune to my uh, blinding sand power. It doesn't work on him. Uh, but I was able to get leather from him. Again, that, that does make sense. I wish his hide would have been leather. Now I wish I had searched uh, the ones I killed previous. down here. Oh, I think this is actually an enemy. Yeah. So it looks like you get like one. Challenge to combat. I mean, these guys will come up behind you. It looks like they will break your blocks. And it looks like I'm about finished here. Oh, okay. And your health, your health doesn't come back instantly. Um, so that's another interesting factor. It regenerates slowly. something to keep in mind uh, if you do end up getting this game if you do end up deciding that you want to that you want to get into this um, if you were a fan of Couture if you liked Couture I'd, I'd recommend this game I think I'm not saying it's as good as, as what Couture was for its its time and place but I think if you were a fan of Couture you'll find some old some just some similar some similar gameplay mechanics that you're gonna like. Um, you know, it's yet it's yet to be seen if this story here, you know, it's gonna. I, I doubt this story is gonna match the Couture story, but and that's only because of the, that Couture storyline had was probably one of the best. Uh, best storylines in gaming. But this is so far, um, so far this is an enjoyable. You're not a little, like, nuts or something? What are you thinking of doing with these guns? We can't go back up with all this stuff, but if I tell the guards where to find them... Shit, never thought a bounty would get you heated up like that sobriety, prick. So far, I mean, I, I'd say the game is enjoyable. It has its good points. It has its it has its flaws. Um, but you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and, and nitpick a, a budget video game. Oh, damn. <laughs> Oh, I need to take that guy out. Yeah. Even the combat, I mean, the 
combat in this game is, is simple. Kind of reminds me of like the, you know, the combat in a game like Fable, maybe. You know, this kind of thing. Wow. Oh, when these guys get you, I mean, they just come out with force against you. And if I had known that I would be facing mole people, um, and that sand power would end up being worthless to me, uh, early in the game. So this might just, you know, something you might want to think of when you're when you're spending your precious points early in the game is that you're not uh, a little like not so something. Your what do you early think enemies are these guns? are mole, mole people. Um, we can't go back up with all this stuff. And they're already but if I tell blind. The guards where to find them. Shit! Never thought a bounty would get you heated up like that sobriety prick. Items here that we're. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's pick that up. So we do have a couple more items here. Um, we have traps that will make four. We have a homemade bomb. So I think what we're gonna have to do is instead of I was trying to compare the combat here to other games, but I think what we're going to have to do instead of is maybe be a little more tactical here and set some traps at choke points. Set some traps at a few choke points and then our sneak ability. And now we'll get back here. We'll try to protect our friends. There we go. This is going better now. how that was supposed to go. That was much better. Uh, unfortunately, I only have four bullets left in my nail gun, so hopefully... Hey guys, you see that? And? Don't feel like you're letting us do all the dirty work, huh? Not like we need a distraction, you know? Seriously, look! Looks like some metallic stuff down this hole. That's the Bugs Tunnels. Far as I know, they don't use metal for supports. That's fucking weird, man. Almost looks like pre-turmoil shit. Stuff built by the colonists. Holy shit! You sure? Relics? I said almost. We gotta go back up fast and tell the guards. We'll get triple rations. You sure got a problem with food. I'm with you on that, though. And anyway, who knows what's down there? Better we tell them to go down and see for themselves. Come on, we're done. Let's go see the guards. Okay, let's go. Why the fuck are you doing there? Sick of it already? Your shift's not over yet. That's not it. I found something down there. 
Well, well, let's see. And just what did you find, your asshole? Must have been something for a jerk-off like you. Nah, seriously? There's some kind of debris down one of those holes there. Metal stuff. The guy over here says they're relics from the colonists. Really? Are you sure? I can't be completely sure, but there's metal in one of the tunnels. Manufactured. Unless you put it there. It's gotta be really old. All right, I'll call the boss. But I really hope you're right. I don't know what yours are like, but our technomancer isn't exactly laid back. I've been told you found something suspicious. Report, soldier. Yes, sir. The cleaning squad went down, but they came back early, saying they found some metallic debris in one of the tunnels. The prisoner says they're relics. Uh, I thought I should tell you. If they actually are relics, and not the fantasies of a group of gullible fools, you did the right thing, soldier. So, prisoner, describe what you saw and what makes you think it was relics. Unless you happen to be an expert. I'm not the one who said they were relics, sir. I'm, uh... He did. I just saw metal scraps down a hole and it... Uh, d Enough. You, speak. There really is metallic debris in one of the tunnels dug by the moles. Old metal, manufactured. That's why I think it could be what's left of some colonial facility. And do you have much experience with colonial facilities? Not really. It's just a guess. Well, well. A smart prisoner. This camp is chock full of surprises. Mary, my dear, do go down and see what this is all about, will you? Tell me if our local genius here is right or wrong. Yes, Master. And take him with you. With someone else. Give me a report. And, Mary, don't take any unnecessary risks. Yes, Master. It's here. We didn't go down. The debris looked strange, so we went back up immediately. Oh, really? You were right. It does look like pre-termal remains. All right, well, we got another long cutscene there. I just want to go back and see if... Uh, well, you can see the, the open world feel kind of isn't there as you're, you're blocked in the direction you can go. Um, I was going to go back. I want to see if I could loot the, the bodies that of the fallen from earlier. Um, we were treated to a, a nice long cutscene there. Uh, and it appears like the pyromancer uh, sent his apprentice, or she called him master, so maybe she's his concubine I or, or slave. I imagine a lot of people would mistake it for drilling debris. What did you do before the war? Well, I... What the... Uh-oh. A queen!
<laughs> now they tell me. Oh, wow. Well, guys, it looks like we've been defeated by the first boss character in the game, and it's the Mole Queen. Uh, she made short work of the Pyromancer's concubine, uh, and then made pretty short work of us. Um, right at the end there, we did get a tool tip to find a way to try to destabilize uh, the Mole Queen. Our strikes weren't doing any damage at all. Um, so this, is, this character is impervious to our normal attacks. Uh, but that's going to do it for this for this part. And we will return with more Mars Warlogs. Guys, i got to say, this is a fun game. This is, this is a game that uh, isn't perfect, isn't, the, isn't, isn't a, some blockbuster, but this is enjoyable. It's, and it's quality. Um, they did a good job putting the game together. And uh, it makes for an enjoyable experience. The storyline of the game uh, and the, the backstory of the game, which I'm actually intrigued enough now to start looking into that backstory. Uh, but the story in the game going forward is starting to grab my attention here. Um, with the prison escape, and now we've we found these ruins from the old colonists. and So the game really does do a good job. It's, it's kind of building up here. Um, so, I will get back at it, guys, and uh, we'll try to avenge this defeat in the, in the next episode. You guys take her easy, and uh, don't forget, please do leave your comments, questions, criticisms, critiques. Um, if there are any other games, also, that you guys would like to, to see uh, me do a Let's Play of, please let me know. Um, I'm definitely a huge RPG fan, so I'd be looking forward to playing any... Uh, budget title or indie RPG uh, that you guys are interested in seeing. Like I said in the last video, I've, I've got an interest in Crater. Uh, I'm going to pick up that demo uh, probably this weekend and, and maybe get into that one uh, for a Let's Play as well. Uh, but right now, guys, i got to say, i got to say, if you're a sci-fi fan or you, you like cyberpunk, if you were a fan of Couture and you're looking for kind of a a fresh look of a game in that that same kind of same kind of feel. Um, this might just do it for you, man. This is this is Mars Warlogs. Uh, it's a it's a it's a nice little game. I'm enjoying it. So I will see you guys for the next part. You take her easy.